With the 23rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Kenneth Murray, linebacker, Oklahoma. Well, the Chargers have their Murray, as in Kenneth Murray, the linebacker from Oklahoma. This kid is fascinating. First of all, one of his first sports that he played well was golf, so he'll do very well in the Los Angeles area. Lots of great golf courses, but he is a fascinating guy, and he was a kid that people saw right away. His uncle said, I called him meat because at the age of two, I knew that was a man right there, and he has been a man on the field and a man off the field in so many ways. Lewis, take us through what the Chargers are getting in Kenneth Murray. They're getting a three down linebacker, Trey, who absolutely can just wreak havoc from sideline to sideline. I thought his key and diagnosed his eyes were where they were where they needed to be at all times. He's a guy who inserted downhill with tremendous physicality on a consistent basis. He's a guy who played with a ton of energy. He's, the, he's one of those guys who really does neutralize the second level of the field for the defense and can match up with running backs or tight ends. I love this pick for the Chargers. They needed an upgrade of speed and playmaking ability at the second level, and they've got it with Kenneth Murray for sure, Booger. Without a doubt, and when you understand what defensive coordinator Gus Bradley wants to do in that 4-3, three-deep zone scheme, he wants a guy that can see ball, hit ball. Kenneth Murray can definitely do that. But more than anything, when you drop back in zone coverage, can he find the zone? Can he look up the underneath receiver? Can he look up the tight end? Gus Bradley has coached some great linebackers in his days, coaching Derrick Brooks. He understands how to put that linebacker, whether it's a middle linebacker or a wheel linebacker, put him in the right position to make plays. This is a great fit for Kenneth Murray. And I know Gus Bradley and Anthony Lynn have got to be happy out in Los Angeles. We have a new quarterback in for Tulane. This is K this is Khalil McLean, and he tried to stretch it out. Kenneth Murray having none of it. Or you have to change ends at the quarter. They run the ball here, and they're not going to get anything further. Knocked down in the backfield it's against the Bulls. TCU starts instead. Oh, the Kyle Hicks will no good. The ball comes out. Scoop up. Taken into the end zone for a touchdown. Scoop and score. Cameron Kelly. Disastrous start. TCU. Let's take another look. This seemed pretty definitive that the ball was out before Hicks was down. You can see right there, the body is left so able to get that big ball to the ball. And there's Karen Kelly taking the pass. The key on that play, Karen Kelly actually brought pressure off of the edge. So it's good to the ball. The Sooners bring pressure, and they knock the quarterback down. Ball comes out. It's rolling around, and Oklahoma grabs on the sideline. as anybody. I think a lot of people thought there'd be a drop off at Georgia this year, but not much. Oklahoma gets after Zeb Nolan. Three men in the backfield. Kenneth Murray there first for the sack. Iowa State, first play of the fourth quarter. Nolan out of the backfield, nearly intercepted. On second and four. Nolan facing pressure against him. Ball flutters. Nearly picked off. It's yeah, just brought right around the left hand side as he runs around. Julian Goodwin's 15 plays. Hopkins jams on the brakes, and then he is swallowed. Definitely out of scoring range here. Good job in pursuit here by Oklahoma. And you see Murray, who's played his heart out tonight on defense. As a beautiful Saturday afternoon. This is going to be dry. Shaping up for a good quarter here. Out the shotgun. Set. Back to the three second. Third and long, Mike Stoops now jumping under pressure, brings Curtis Bowman off one side, Keith Murray up the middle. Four-man rush, stepping up, Robinson, flag down, and he's brought down. Only a three-man rush, Sean Robinson with all day. That ball's tipped and incomplete, Kenneth Murray in coverage, got his left hand on it. Toss forward, Turpin reverses field. Nowhere to go. He's going to 
Packers defense guessing. We'll keep it on the ground with Hubbard for five more. Down to the 35, the football comes out of the city. Oklahoma has it. It's Kenneth Murray. Ballinger was running out of time. Little Jordan Humphrey, a bobbling catch and a loss of yardage on the play. A great start to the Alex Grinch era as defensive coordinator. Two, second and 12, Ellinger underneath, Gouverneur again, whoa! I don't know if that's a face mask, but he got grabbed around the head by Kenneth Murray. No flag on the play. Wow, no flag, where is that left hand? Tell you what, that is a pretty good no call. That hand is on the jersey under the face mask. Now remember, initially touch the face mask. It's not just the face mask. If you pull the helmet or a matter of effort, and it certainly was there. Ellinger flicks it out into the flats. Johnson, and he's wrestled down at the line of scrimmage. Kenneth Rush, 6'3", 302 pounds, third and 11. Sam Ellinger under pressure. Murray plugs up the hole as he beats his chest after making that kind of play. Well, I mean, they were just swarming him here, and on third and forever, there's nothing you can do. They're trying to run kind of a little bit of a draw right there, and Murray is just too fast. He closes it down. That whole series, though, was about the call on the pass interference as well as the mistake from finding a way for this offense to make plays. With a handoff to Ebner. Back there getting back healthy. They hope he can make some big plays tonight, but he's been hemmed in. Murray and Perkins on the stop. We're going to run with the ball. Murray's here. Safety late breaking down. Nobody picks him up, and I don't know where you can go if you're Ebner. Nice job there by Tate Barber in the backfield. He swings out. Duggan looks his direction and retreats with a pocket collapsing. Can't get around. field until they had a three and out three positive reps for that first string defense no matter how many it took during practice to really try to get barbers the motion man on second and 15 with a deep drop Duggan looks to set up the screen and Kenneth Murray identifies and explodes wow is a two on one and you're going to see Murray to your point Joe diagnose it he watches those linemen get out but here's the key sweating those two right there if you block him that's a huge game huge and that is to Alex Grinch's point do your Jim Mayfield look to him here comes Stoner looking for a cutback lane won't find it look he's not Baker Mayfield but he's if he believes he's okay Brewer's gonna run again and does not get back to the line of scrimmage right by Kenneth Murray he's gonna pull he's the lead blocker here's Murray he goes right Second quarter, it's been all Oklahoma, leading 10 to nothing. Brewer, changing direction, running out of time, and Murray clubbed him to the ground. Hasty, the running back, Zedner on the right of Bohannon, who's getting blitzed, got it away to Jamichael Hasty, but it's for a loss. Still no sign of Charlie Brewer, so the backup, Gary Bohannon, continues that pass over the middle. 